Welcome to the channel. So our agenda for today is to understand three things. I will give you an overview of Google Ads Editor. I will show you how to upload a Google search campaign and as well as I will attach a template of it in a description. Also, I will show you some shortcuts and some cool tricks in order to save your time and work more effectively with Google Ads Editor. Before we jump into the topic, you need to understand how the Google Ads structure look like. So this is account level. In each account, we have multiple campaigns. In each campaign, we can have a multiple ad groups. Inside each ad group, we have a multiple keywords. And under each ad group, we can have a three responsive search ads. So this is how the basic Google Ads structure look like. And this is very important thing you need to understand before you jump into learning a Google Ads editor. So let's proceed into the Google Ads editor platform. So this is how the Google Ads editor platform look like. So before we proceed ahead, you need to understand that a Google Ads editor is a platform for Google Ads. And let's say you want to do a bulk changes. Let's say you want to launch 100 campaigns and in each campaign you have multiple headlines, descriptions. And now let's say you want to do editing and you want to change certain URLs of a particular ad in a bulk. Then uh, this platform helps us to work more efficiently with uh, so many campaigns all at once. The number one thing you need to do before starting your work with a Google Ads editor is that download all the campaigns present in the account. That is go to the recent changes, click on a basic and select all campaigns and click on OK. So your all campaigns are getting downloaded here. So our, all the campaigns got downloaded. Let me give you a short overview of a Google Ads editor. So we in a left, in left hand corner, you can see here we have search section. Using this section, we can basically filter a particular campaign. So this is a account level. Once you click here, you will find all the campaigns present in the account. And once you click on this particular arrow, you will find all the ad groups present in this particular campaign. You can see here in this collection search campaign, you can we have two ad groups, men's collection and women's collection. If you want to make a change in a particular setting of a campaign, then manage sections becomes really important. Let's say in this particular campaign, if you want to make a change at a campaign level, just select particular campaign, click on a campaign level, click on this particular campaign and just you can find here like you can make a changes at a budget. Let's say you want to change a goal or a start date ended of the campaign. Let's say you want to change a targeting. So this this kind of changes are possible at a, here. Select a campaign, go to the campaign level and just make a changes. At ad group level, you can find both the ad groups present in this particular campaign. Let's say you want to make a change in a particular keyword of the men's collection ad group. Just select on this men's collection ad group. Go to the keywords, keywords and targeting. Click on keywords. You will find all the keywords present here. Let's say you want to change a match type of this particular keyword. Click this particular keyword. Go to the match type and just make it to like, let's say a phrase match. Just I've just changed a match type of this particular keyword. Similarly, let's say you want to make a change to a woman's collection ad copies. Then just click on woman's collection, go to the ads section, click on responsive search ads. You can find here all the headlines and descriptions in the right hand side and that is present in the ad and if you want to make changes you can just go in this particular section and make changes so this is how the basic uh, functionality of a platform look like now let me show you how to upload a google search campaign right right away the process of uploading a google search campaign in a google ads editor is very straightforward and i will be attaching a template that i will be using right here in a description you can check it out and try it yourself uh, i have just sorted a uh, different keywords we have uh, multiple keywords. We have one campaign called nightwear, nightwear campaign. And each campaign we have two ad groups like women's, women exact and men exact. And we have multiple keywords. Process of uploading a search campaign in a Google Ads editor is reverse. Basically first what we have to do is we have to upload keywords. Once keywords are uploaded, our ad group and campaign will get created. Let me show you how. Let's copy this particular from this sheet. Once you copy, just go to Google Ads Editor platform. Once you are here at a platform, just go to a keyword level. 
click on a make multiple changes click here my data includes column and a campaign ad group paste from a clipboard so all our data that that we copied is pasted here now click on process you can see here we have uploaded 18 keywords two ad groups and one campaign that is one nightwear campaign two ad groups that is men's exact and women's exact and those 18 keywords we just copied so now i am just clicking on finish and review changes so once you click here just keep just click here keep so you can see here we have some errors like you can see a red mark just let me check what is there just click on a campaign let's see what are the errors so we can see here oh see basically what we have to do is we have to just add budget so we can see here our error got fixed so so see what happened is that we have uploaded keywords our campaign and ad group got created but still we are yet to upload a ad ads in a google search campaign so click on a responsive search ad here so you can see here there is no campaign in this particular night nightwear campaign so in order to upload ads here we have a template so to upload a responsive search ad in a, our nightwear campaign we have a template so we, we have columns so we have here nightwear campaign and we have two ad groups men's exact and women exact for each ad group we are going to upload one one ad so for women exact we will be having one ad and for men's exact we will be having one ad if you know the structure of responsive search ad you will know we can have up to 14 headlines four descriptions and a two parts so you can see here we have 14 headlines i have just generated it through chat gpt and we have 14 headlines four descriptions for each and two parts and their respective urls so what i will do in order to upload this ads i will i don't have to just like type it or something i just have to copy this particular template just copy it completely and just once i copy this i will go to our google ads data platform click on this particular campaign where we want to upload uh, our ads responsive search ads go to the ads in responsive search ads click here and click on make multiple changes click here my data include columns and campaign ad groups paste from clipboard so you can see here our campaigns like all the data that was present in that particular sheet is here we have a campaign nightwear campaign in each we have two ad groups and their respective headlines descriptions and paths and final url now click on a process so we can see here our like two responsive search ads got added click on finish and review changes here click on a keep and we can see here there is some error uh, let's see what is the error you can see here headline should be less than a 30 character i've just reduced the length of this particular headline so it matches our less than 30 character limit so we can see here we were able to successfully add a nightwear campaign in a google ads editor so before we publish it what we have to do is click on a check changes on check changes so you can see here we have just created one ad one campaign two ad groups added 19 keywords there is a location targeting that is india and we have added two responsive search ads just close this click on a post all campaigns click on a post so our campaign will so a campaign got automatically published if you want to check the same go to the google ads platform and let's cross verify the same this is our google ads account and you can see here the campaign we just uploaded nightwear campaign once you click inside this campaign you will find two ad groups women's exact and men's exact once you click here in ads so you will find a respective ads we have uploaded once you click here you will find all the description and ad copies and headlines 
we have uploaded like you can see final url the path we have mentioned and all the 14 headlines that are present and their respective descriptions let me show you some cool tricks while working with the google ads editor let's consider a scenario let's say your manager flags you, you have uploaded a wrong destination urls at a keyword level so how you will up fix that with the help of google ads editor let's me let me show you how just click on that particular campaign where you want to make changes i want to make changes in nightwear campaign my manager flag i have uploaded like wrong destination urls for at a keyword at a keyword level so let me check so we can see here all that we wanted to send our traffic to a final url that is home page of our website but we can see here we have added some kids collection url here so how we can so how we can fix all this at once so what we have to do is just filter here click on a final url once you click here just i am applying a filter final url contains any of like let's say kids as we want to change like kids click on apply so all the keywords that contains a url with the kids will get filtered now i have to make this change i have to make a change just now i have to replace this final urls with the home page url just what i have to do is just select all these keywords use a shortcut control h select final url so if we have to replace this particular url with our home page url so just click on a replace and guess what so you can see here all our final urls got replaced all at once let's consider a scenario where your manager flags your ad is bidding for keywords that contains a uh, marketplaces names like uh, let's say amazon nightwear nightwear suits and your ad is getting displayed so what he has done is he requested you to add a negative keywords with the help of a google ads editor so how you will do that so what we will do is we will use this particular columns like a campaign name the keywords that your manager flagged that our ad should not appear here and we will keep a match type as a fridge match because we don't want to show our ads where in whichever the keyword this particular marketplace's names are present so i'm just copying this so I'm back to the campaign, go to the keyword and targeting section, click on negative keywords, negative, keyword negative, make multiple changes. My data includes columns, paste from clipboard. So campaign is here, all the keywords and criteria is phrase, click on process. You can see where we have added just six negative keywords, click on finish and review changes, click on keep make check change click on check changes and you can see here we have like created a, we have added a six negative keywords click on check changes six out of six keywords got processed click on post post those changes let's consider the third scenario where your manager observes that you are nightwear campaign is not spending its budget and now he wants you to add men's phrase phrase ad group and woman phrase phrase match ad group into the nightwear campaign and that too using a google ads editor so how you will do that so let me show you how just click on that particular campaign go to ad groups let's duplicate this particular ad groups just click on copy and click on paste just changing its name just changing its name to the phrase once I'm um, when these changes are made I'm also just duplicating woman and changing its name to phrase woman phrase once these changes are made you can see here we have two new extra phrase phrase match ad groups so now I have to change the match type of those particular ad groups because we have just duplicated from exact match go to the keyword level and here filter by ad group contents phrase as both the ad groups we have named after phrase 
so i'm just applying the filters so you can see here all the keywords in a phrase add groups still has a match type as an exact so we need to change that so what you have to do is just select all these keywords click on match type and change it to phrase we have just changed match type to a phrase so what we have done is we have just created two ad groups with a phrase match and change the match type of all the keywords to a phrase and guess what their respective ads also got created so once we have done these changes click on check changes all campaigns click on check changes so we can see here we have to we have created two ad groups 18 keywords and two responsive search ads in their respective ad groups so click on close go to post click on so we have published all the changes and we, we, you can see here we have two exact match and two phrase match ad groups so this makes a google ads editor platform a very interesting platform to work with do like comment share and subscribe for more such insightful videos